Hey everybody, we're going to continue this process of looking at um, uh, representing a linear pattern. So what we're going to do is look at another graph, excuse me, another pattern, and let's go ahead and see if we can figure out what's going on here. So it says write an equation that gives the number of blocks B for any stage we're on. So what I want you guys to be able to do is if I just give you a number for stage, so if I tell you stage 1, stage 2, stage 3, I want you guys to be able to tell me how many blocks are going to be there. So first what I always do to start these out is I look at how many blocks are there. I have two blocks here, five blocks here, um, eight blocks here. And so we can figure out what the rate of change is by seeing out how many my stages are increasing by. That is three. And so we can easily see that pattern here. I had no blocks. Excuse me, I only had these two blocks. I added three more. And then after I added uh, those three, I actually added an additional three more on the stage. That's just the way I'm looking at it. There's numerous ways to look at this one. Um, so now what we're going to do is it says write an equation. Well, on this one, what I personally see is that the blocks are increasing so the blocks are increasing by three every stage. Now what I need to do is see how many are there at the very, very beginning. So that would be two. So now I need to double check my work to make sure this is a correct equation. So if I plug in one for stage one, I should get the correct answer. So let's go ahead and look at this. The total amount of blocks is equal to 3 times 1 plus 2. This is for stage 1. This would give me a total of 3 plus 2, which is 5 blocks. Well, it doesn't have 5 blocks. Interesting. So let's go ahead now and see what happens if I did the same for stage 2. So this means uh, what this would look like is the total amount of blocks is equal to 3 per stage. And I'm on the second stage plus the two blocks I'm starting with. Those are these two blocks here. So then what happens this, I would get B equals 6 plus 2, which is 8. Once again, I'm 3 too many. So let's go ahead and try it on stage 3, see if this pattern continues of me having too many blocks. So B equals 3 blocks per stage. I'm now on stage 3, plus my 2 from the very beginning. And I get blocks is equal to 9 plus 2, which is 11. Now, interestingly enough, I'm always increasing by 3, but I'm still... A few too many. So what I want you guys to realize is the equation that I came up with, let's go ahead and do this in orange, was b equals three blocks per stage. Excuse me, the total amount of blocks is three blocks per stage plus the, th and this is an s, at plus the uh, two additional blocks I started. And every time I was three too many. So to get 3 backwards, all I would need to do is minus 3. This would give me a proper of equation of b is equal to 3s minus 1. And I got the minus 1 by doing the 2 minus 3. The reason why is um, on stage 1, we're not adding any blocks yet. We haven't added any yet. And I started with 2. So basically what we need to do is figure out how many blocks are on stage 0. And the amount of blocks that are on stage zero, well, if I'm always increasing by three going to the right, that means I'm decreasing by three going backwards, going to the left, seeing how many were on the previous stage. And if I'm left at the very beginning with stage one has two blocks, that means that stage zero is going to be negative one block. Now, I know it's a little confusing thinking of negative one blocks, but um, it would technically be negative one block. So here's my equation, b equals 3s minus 1. So explain how each part of the equation is represented here. All right, well, um, the equation was the total amount of blocks is equal to 3 blocks minus 1. So on these, the 3 rep... Uh, I wrote in b. Excuse me, let me fix that really quickly. What this is saying is, we'll start with this for each stage, we are increasing by three blocks.
Now, what about this minus 1? That part's a little trickier. Now, this minus 1 represents how many blocks are on stage 0. So the negative 1 represents how many blocks are in stage 0. Now, it's not we don't always do this, but we did it this time because on stage one, that did not represent the three blocks that should have been added. So it's basically we, we, we have to wait a step before we start adding those. Okay, if graph, would this graph, uh, what would the constant from your equation represent? So if we were to graph this, let me do a super rough sketch of it. We would start off at negative one and increase by three every time. Um, it would actually be a discrete graph because we can't have half a stage. So it would look something like this. And it says, if graph, what would the constant from your equation represent? So we had the blocks, total amount of blocks is equal to three per stage minus one. It says, one more time, if graph, what would the constant from your equation represent? So that would be this point right here. The constant represents where it crosses the y-axis, and we call it the y-intercept. And it says, if graphed, what would the coefficient of your s from your equation represent? So one more time, my equation was total amount of blocks is equal to 3s minus 1. And um, what a coefficient is, it's a big word, and it's uh, all it means is the number in front of uh, the variable right here. So my coefficient of 3. And on a linear equation, your coefficient represents the rate of change. So it says, uh, what would the coefficient of s from your equation represent on the graph? So if I had my little rough draft of my graph again, it would be how many times for every stage I increase, so every time I increase the stage by one, how many additional blocks am I adding? So the S represents for every time I increase the stage by one, now this is the coefficient part, the total amount of blocks increases by 3. So when I look at this, the blocks would increase by 1, stage would increase by 3, blocks would increase by 1, other way around, stage increases by 1, blocks increase by 3, stage increases by 1, blocks increase by 3. Stage increases by one, blocks increase by three, so on and so forth. So does this pattern represent a linear growth? And we would say yes, because it has, it is always increasing by three which is the rate of change. So for instance, if I increased by three here and then over here, I just started added more blocks, just randomly, that would not be a constant rate of change, and therefore it would not be a linear pattern. All right, so hopefully this helped you with the understanding of this pattern and how it represents a linear equation. If you guys have any questions, please let me know.